all right guys welcome to our channel code with sunny and in this video i will be talking about the problem orderly queue its index is 899 and uh, it is the hard type problem of the lead code okay so we have been given a string s and an integer k and we can choose one of the first k letters of the string s that is given to us and append it at the end of the string okay so there is a possible move that is being given to us uh, that is every time we are going to choose any of the first k letters of the string of the given string and we are going to append it and that is the, the character that we have chosen it right now we are going to push back that character to the back of the current string and we are going to do this operation any number of times that we want okay and return the lexicographically smallest string that we can obtain after applying the mentioned step at any number of moves that is we are going to do a infinite amount of moves that is uh, whatever we want and the answer that we have to return is the lexicographically smallest string that we can have after applying a certain set of moves okay so in this uh, question the the concept that is being related to this one is like maths you can have you should have to have a good knowledge of maths that is what is being happening over here how we can rotate the strings and uh, what are the best efficient solutions also you should have to have the knowledge of uh, sorting algorithms like uh, selection sort bubble sort algorithms and many more i will discuss all those like uh, all those necessary algorithms that we are going to focus over this problem and then we will together build up the best solution for this problem so let's move further to understand this problem with the help of examples okay so let's first understand what this problem is going to say suppose we have the string containing let's say five characters so s0 s1 s2 s3 and s4 okay and suppose that k is given as uh, let's say 3 okay so if k is given as 3 what does it mean that uh, this is um, our actual given string and we have to consider only the first three characters of this string right and we are going to choose any character note that the term any character we are going to choose any character of these three uh, like the first three characters of this string and we are going to choose that character and discard over here let's say i have chosen this s1 and append this s1 to the back of the current string so it means that our new string would become s0 s2 s3 s4 and now s1 okay and now what will be our next step of move again we are going to choose this first three characters and like any of the characters let's say now again i have chosen s0 then s0 will be discarded from here and s0 will be appended to over here so my new string would become this one and we have to do this uh, operation like any times that we want and what should we return in this case it, our returned answer would be smallest lexicographically string that we can build by doing these series of operations okay so let's take an example and analyze how we can do that okay so let's say uh, let's say i'm taking cba and k is one let me erase this one so our uh, like uh, this is the given string and k is one so if k is one what does it mean that is uh, we are going to choose only the first string we have the only option to choose the first string okay now let's say i've chosen this string so in one move our new string would become b a and c will be appended to the back okay and in another move i can choose i have the only option to choose b note that still this string is not the lexicographically smallest string because we have the character a which is the smallest character so our string should begin with the character a that's what we are trying to build up so in one operation again i will have the a as the first c then appended by the b okay so this is acb can we build uh, like can we have much more better than this one no we cannot have because after again one operation you can see a will go to the back side of this string okay so c will come up to the first uh, so the character cba is not going to be lexicographically smaller than acb so this is not going to be possible acb is the smallest one right so i think acb will our, will be our answer you can see yes acb will be our answer and this is for k equal to 1 so uh, let's analyze the problem for k equal to 2. So for k equal to 2, let's take another sample string as uh, let's say a, a, b, d 
and C. Okay. Now suppose this is the given original string and we need to build up the lexicographically smallest string by doing any number of moves such that we are going to choose uh, first k letters from the given string. Okay. Now you can see I have this uh, A, A, B, D, C and what is the lexicographically smallest string? Note that I am asking for smallest string uh, in terms of lexicographical manner. For this string, you can see the it is the sorted form that is A, A and uh, B, C and D. Okay. So this is the smallest string that we, uh, we would be having if we sort the given string like the original string. So can we build this string that is the sorted string from this one? If we are able to do that, then this will be our answer because this is the smallest lexicographical string of the given string. Okay. So let's check it out. If k is equal to 2, it means that we are going to choose uh, first two strings and analyze whether we can build up the smallest lexicographical string or not. Okay. So this is double A B D C. Okay. So uh, let's say uh, I will choose, I'm just popping out the first one since k is equal to 2, I can choose any two characters, any one of the characters from the first two characters. Okay. So let's say I'm choosing the very first one. So the string would become A B D C A. Okay. Now again, I'm, I'm being able to choose the first two characters, like any of the characters from the first two characters. Let's say I'm again choosing the very first character B. Like you can choose anyone, but we need to have to like understand that we need to build up the lexicographically smallest string. I am explaining these all the steps because the, uh, the very important thing is for you to understand how the sequence of steps are working upon and uh, suddenly I will give up the best idea why these solutions are being working on and what could be the best solution to implement that and how the idea came from. Okay, so the next step would be like uh, uh, popping this out. So B, D, C, A, A. Again, you can see we have the choice from the first two. So again, I'm saying that I will discard this B. So it would, it would become D, C, A, A and B. Now you can see that uh, there is, I have the choice from, from like uh, first two characters. In spite of picking uh, the character D, like the very first character, I will now pick up the character C and append it to the back of the string. So it would become like D. A, A, B and C. Now again I have the choice for the first two. Then again I will discard this D right now. So my character will be A, A, B, C, D. And here the bingo happens over here. You can see that this is the sorted form. Like sorted form of this string. Here we have got that. Okay. So it means that if you are able to build up the smallest lexicographical string for k equal to 2 from this string, it means that this is our answer. So uh, let me just introduce one another thing that uh, the general answer for this question. So whenever k is equal to 1, let's say we have the certain string as 0, s1, s2, s3 and s4. So whenever k is equal to 1, you have the only one choice. You can pick up the very first character from the given string and append it to the back. And again, if uh, again, suppose this is the new string. So you have the choice to pick up the very first character and append it to the back. Okay. So you can see that every time when you are forming a new string, it is of this type. Like suppose this is the original string. Suppose that you have done two steps like this one. S, then you have the string of this type. Like a starting from this S2 and uh, going up to the end of the string. Like a concatenation of this uh, substring plus this substring like this is this will be appended first and this will be appended second you can see that the uh, string is s2 to s4 and then s0 to s1 so whenever k is equal to 1 you have the rotation of the strings okay so you can uh, you can see that this, this is the very original string and in one of the steps uh, you are going to rotate this string in anti-clockwise manner anti-clockwise so when you are going to do that, you can see S0 will be discarded and S0 will be appended to the back. Okay. So overall, whenever you will be given K equal to 1 as the input and you have been asked to find out the answers, you are going to perform the rotation of all the strings. Okay. Rotate every time the strings and find out the minimum answer. Okay. So this is for K equal to 1. What happens when K is equal to 2? So let's try to understand that. 
okay so now i'm talking about k equal to 2 what will happen when k is equal to 2 or let's say in more general case k greater than or equal to 2 okay now before understanding this thing you need to understand the swapping thing or you can say that uh, you need to understand the concept of bubble sort in short what is this bubble sort bubble sort is a like sorting algorithm uh, which runs in o of n square time and the main idea for this algorithm is like swap every two elements which are not in correct place suppose we have the like uh, we have the array let's call the array as 1 2 5 4 3 now you can see that this array is not in the sorted form like not sorted in non decreasing order okay so what is the sorted form of this array you can see the sorted form of this array is 1 2 3 4 5 Okay, now you can see that bubble sort algorithm works on the case like uh, whenever uh, check out the adjacent two elements, if the two elements are not in the correct place, swap them, right? You can see that 5 and 4 are not in the correct place, let's swap them, so it becomes 4, 5 and 3. Now, uh, my target element is 5 right now, again 5 and 3 are the not in the correct place, let's swap them, 1, 2, 4, 3, 5. Now, 5 occurs like the place of the 5 is exactly matching with the sorted one, okay? So again, let's check it out which uh, adjacent elements is not in the correct place. You can see the 4 and 3 are not in the correct place. So it would become 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now it becomes the exactly matching with the sorted one. Okay. So it means that uh, the main idea to explain this algorithm is like whenever certain adjacent elements are not in the correct place, we can sort the entire array, you can say, entire substring, you can say, entire string, you can say. We can sort the entire string only and only when we are able to sort the adjacent elements of the given string or the given array. Again, I am speaking, if we are being able to sort the adjacent elements of the given string or the given array, then we can sort the entire array or the entire string. Okay, now let's talk about the k greater than or equal to 2. Okay, again I am speaking when we are able to sort the given string or the given array or the given sequence of elements by swapping the adjacent elements and placing the elements into its correct place, then we can sort the entire array or the string as we have seen now in case of bubble sort. Okay, now let's say we have k greater than or equal to 2 and we have a sequence of strings like a, b, c and uh, let's say I am saying e then d then f and then g i think yeah a b c d e f g now you can see that uh, i have taken this as the sample string now we need to find out the smallest lexicographical string of this string okay so like the lexicographically smaller one after some certain sequence of moves okay what is the lexicographically smallest one for this string you can see it's the sorted form so a b c d e f and g right this is the sorted form so uh, let's claim that whenever k is greater than or equal to 2 we can always form the smallest lexicographical string from the actual string uh, note that the smallest one i'm talking about is the sorted form okay so whenever we have k greater than or equal to 2 we are going to sort the given string and return that as our answer why we are going to able to do that the concept is the same as bubble sort uh, that is we can swap the two elements in the, our actual string which are not in the correct place and moving it to the correct place we are always being able to do that and how it is going to be done let's try to analyze now you can see that the a b c is in the correct place according to the sorted form now you can see that these two elements are not in the correct place you can see here these two elements are not in the correct place and remaining elements are in the correct place okay so let's try to analyze can we swap this element like uh, can we have the condition that if we are able to swap the like if we are able to swap the adjacent elements of our current string which are not in the correct place then uh, similar to the case we can swap any adjacent elements and move the particular element target element to the exact place that they are being supposed to have like you can see the character e is supposed to have to at this position but it is not at there so we need to do some swapping operations right so let's try to understand can we swap e and d then if we are able to do that then we can similarly can swap any of them okay so you can see that let's try to do that 
so what we are going to do k is greater than equal to 2 let's say k is minimum as like 2 okay so we are able to choose the first two characters so let's say i'm going to pop out this a then pop out this b then pop, pop out this c okay so the after doing this my characters are like e d f and g then a b c now we have the choice First to choose the first two characters but we are not going to choose e right now because uh, what we want is like d before e okay so that's why i'm going to choose d right now so the next step would be like e f g then a b c d okay now again choose e then f then g so these all will be discarded then e f g now here comes the another thing that is being interesting yes we are able to swap them you can see a b c d e f g so it means that whenever k is going to be like greater than or equal to 2 like suppose k is equal to 3 then that's or oh, that's a good thing for us okay because we are have we have a wider range of choosing the element okay so even for the minimum k like as of now for h2 like we are always talking about k greater than or equal to 2 and for k uh, exactly equal to 1 we are always doing the rotation of the strings in anti clockwise manner and when k is greater than or equal to 2 like for the minimum k that is k is equal to 2 we are able to swap any these two elements like in the bubble sort whenever the target element is not in the correct place we are going to do the swapping operation with the adjacent element okay now you can see that here also e and d are is not at the correct place we are going to do the swap operation and yes we can do that okay like first uh, taking out first i minus one characters and popping out to the back now again what we are going to do since e and d are not at the correct place first pop out the like the first character if i am going to use the zero based indexing then pop out the zero uh, zeroth character that is s of zero to the back and then the remaining characters as it is you can see f and g as it is this will make us the swapping of e and d as possible okay so this is the case like uh, let me generalize this one whenever k is equal to one perform the rotation of the strings and find out the minimum answer in anti-clockwise manner note that we have to do and for k greater than or equal to two the only thing that you have to do is like uh, sort the array and return the answer because we are always being able to convert the given string to the sorted form with the help of bubble sort technique that is we can we are able to swap the adjacent two elements it means that we can sort the entire array or the entire string you can say okay so let's move on to the coding part to analyze the code so the code is like very much simple so let me just look out this summation yeah so k okay, whenever k is 1 you have to do the rotation of the strings in anti clockwise manner so answer will be minimum of all those answers so first the like uh, if you perform the rotation of the string at the position i that is you have the new string as s dot subshear of i that is r uh, uh, that is the substring after the ith characters and the first ith first uh, like i length string okay i length substring and you need to concatenate them and find out the minimum answer otherwise if k is not one sort the string and return the answer as it is always possible to sort the string so this will give you all test cases first so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and uh, i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and do subscribe to youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video